RC Davis here with Mickey McConnell, six foot guard out of St. Mary's. How'd the workout go today? I thought it went well. Um, we were missing one guy, so it was a little bit different than um, my other workouts, but I think we did a good job of kind of just uh, making it work, and um, I thought everyone played well. Uh, you were drafted by the Dodgers. That's not all that rare. I mean, Charlie Ward won the Heisman Trophy, and he wasn't drafted into football. He was drafted into baseball, so it's not all that uncommon, but you haven't played baseball in five years. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely, it was a surprise. I, my brother called me um, the morning I got drafted, and I had no idea, and it kind of took me a second to go find it and actually believe him, but I mean, it's definitely, it's a cool, um, it's an honor, honestly, um, to get drafted, and um, it's kind of another opportunity I have. Now I'm a Phillies fan, so I know your brother, Matt, yeah. and uh, your grandfather also, are you named Mickey because of your grandfather was a teammate of Mickey Mantle? Uh, he played in the same league against him, so um, he got to know him pretty well, and yeah, that's, that was named after him. You shot 46% from the three-point last year. 46%. The finals just concluded. Does a guy like J.J. Barea give you hope that you can play at the next level? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's obviously undersized, but um, he's, I mean, he's pretty athletic for a uh, guard. If you watch him, not many guys can keep him in front, but he's definitely uh, he kind of an inspiration as far as he's small and um, he's kind of made his skills work and they've translated him to the NBA. And, um, he just kind of waited his time and got his chance, and he performed on a huge level. Guys like that and guys like you, you change a pace, guys. If you can only do one thing in the league, if it's shoot the ball, you should be able to find a home. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I mean, I'm hoping that uh, some of my skills that I have um, are enough to have a team take a chance on me maybe. And um, the system we ran in college was a lot of pick and roll and a lot of threes. So I think that those two things can translate pretty well. Other than shooting, which is obvious, what other things do you bring to the court? Any intangibles that you try to show in these three-on-three -three workouts? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard because in a five-on-five -five situation, you have the ability to, to run a team and kind of show your um, in-game kind of thinking. But in these situations, I just try to um, be as crisp as possible and show that I'm probably not as, I mean, I'm not as unathletic as people think. And um, I haven't had, like in my, in the, my career, getting around people and using the on ball hasn't been a, a huge issue so um, just showing that I'm comfortable playing against bigger guards quicker guards and um, it's not really something that uh, bothers me too much. Is it fair to say you were able to show more of your game in Portsmouth or Chicago than in these individual workouts? Yeah Portsmouth's a good um, place to show your game because it's a five on five situation you're kind of just thrown into it and um, you have basically like a 20 minute shoot around to get used to your teammates and get to know them and um, we ran a lot of on-ball kind of stuff, so it was a good chance for me to show uh, what I could do, I guess. We spoke with Randy Bennett recently, and he had glowing things to say about you. How important was he in preparing you for this moment? Uh, he's been great. I mean, my whole four years, uh, my freshman year, I didn't play very much, and he just kind of stuck with me and said, keep, keep working. And um, just one of the main things I learned is just kind of get in the gym and just stay in the gym. Um, over my four years, I think that's the main thing. It kind of helped me make jumps each year is just getting in the gym each summer, each offseason. Um, even now, uh, he's been always kind of on me to make sure you're in the gym, make sure you're doing this, make sure you're doing that. So he's obviously, he's a great figure to have um, kind of guarding you. We talked about the baseball in your family, but also it's basketball too. Grandfather was a coach, your father's a coach. When Randy Bennett told you that as a freshman when you played, you know, 13 minutes a game, how did you know it wasn't lip service? Because you've come from a family of coaches or is that inner drive? Explain that. Um, yeah, it's probably a little of both. Um, obviously, in a drive that I wanted to get on the court, and um, at the time, I mean, I felt like I could play, and I felt like I could um, help the team, but obviously, coming from a coaching family, I knew we were winning, we were successful, so you, it's kind of hard to say that you should be out there when you're winning 27, 28 games, and uh, I mean, I, that's one thing I learned from my family is that I understood that the success of the team kind of comes before your personal success, and um, my parents just kept telling me, I mean, just kind of hang in there, your time will come, and eventually it did. I interviewed Omar Samhan in that very seat when he was in your same situation a year ago. Do you keep in touch with him and Patty Mills and ex-teammates that have gone on to professional leagues all over the globe? Yeah, um, I've seen Omar quite a bit lately. He just got back from Lithuania. Um, we've been in the gym um, together, but yeah, I just kind of try to bounce ideas off them, see what um, they were doing in this situation, uh, who they're working out with, what they didn't work out, and just kind of try to help myself better prepare for situations like this. How are your nerves now that we're just days away from the draft? Uh, I mean, they're fine. I mean, it's not really something I can control at this point. And if a team wants to take me, they will. And obviously, um, I think that's a great pick if they, if they did. But I mean, I just want an opportunity to kind of get in front of as many teams as possible. And right now, my main focus is just play well in these workouts. Well, good luck, Mickey. Thank you very much.
Mickey McConnell. I'm R.C. Davis. Click and roll on Warriors.com throughout the draft process leading up to the draft on June 23rd.